Alright, Feeny Gigalith. Yo, this is the team. I actually made a team that's just like that, those same six mons, because it's a very standard core. Because I want to play it at like a regional. I think I'm going to try the gimmick. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it works, we style on him. We style on him hard. So we go Lele, right? And we go Butterfree. So the Lele can check things like the Arcanine, he can check the Garchomp. And he has two Pokemon that both beat the Butterfree. But we're going to mess him up in just a moment. What do we want to bring in the back? I think uh, Kartana is still pretty good. And Moses is pretty good because he has the Arcanine and the uh, Garchomp. Yep, this is fine. All right, hopefully this works. Butterfree! Butterfree's the best Pokemon of all times. Fake PG. That's pretty much it. But I made my version of it, which is pretty unique. I like to think it's pretty unique. I think it's pretty good. And, uh... Yeah. You know, I, I think my team can actually work against this. Let's see if he wants... If, it really depends on if he wants to trick room me, or if he doesn't want to trick room me. If he does want to trick room me, we're going to body him. But if he doesn't want to trick room me... We're going to lose. Oh my gosh, he went Coco and Feeny. Holy moly. This is technically going to work. But like, yeah. Fake GG. Yeah, Garchomp and Gigalith. Alright, so. Let's look at all these terrains. So every terrain is activating in the correct order. Right? And then Misty Surge is going to go last. So he thinks that he's safe. He's like, alright. I can't sleep out or anything. Truth is, I can sleep powder thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate Psychic Terrain manually on our Choice Scarf Tapu Lele. And then we're going to sleep powder the Tapu Coco. And it's going to be amazing. This is the play. Hopefully he doesn't switch out something for Gigalith, because I'll be sad. Because, like, hopefully he doesn't, like, bolt switch into my Butterfree and come in with Gigalith. Because Butterfree will go down to the Sash, freaking break in in the Sandstorm, but... Either way, this is still pretty swag, I think. I think he's probably... Yeah, just go for the Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, it's completely fine with me, and I really hope that he calm minds with that Feeny. Because I'm going to sleep out of that one, too. And we see Orb, which is very nice to see. Psychic Terrain. Bet you've never seen that animation before in your life. And, uh... Sleep out. Manual Terrain set up really powerful. It's something that technically works. And let's see if he's, oh, he's going for a Moonblast. Don't get a special attack drop on my Lele. Just don't. I mean, actually, you can do one. I'm switching it. There we go. Hey, so we did it. So, yeah, we're just going to switch out for uh, Kartana. It's Kartana or Mosa. I think, actually, Mosa is a better switch in. Because it can gimp the Coco earlier. And we're just going to sleep out of the Beanie. He can switch in his Gigalith if he wants. Skill swap to reset terrain. Skill swap? What? Am I going to skill swap... That wouldn't work, would it? I like Psychic Terrain. Yeah, he's switching to his Kartana. Alright. I think he should switch out the Feeny for Kartana. That probably would have been better. All this time waiting finally paid off. Yeah, that's the play, man. Alright. Hmm... He needs to sleep. I think I'm just going to protect with Mosa. And uh, just go for a Bug Buzz on the Kartana. Kind of want to just Tailwind. I think I will just Tailwind. Because this stops like him from High Jump Kick. Or trying to detect to like, block High Jump Kick. So I think it's actually probably just this good. Also, no nothing wrong with just being faster than everything forever. This really is a greedy play against like a Detect play. Feel worst case scenario... He just KOs the Butterfree, I guess. It's not really bad at all. We have to assume he doesn't have a Gigalith. I think he would have switched it in a long time ago. He has Arcanine. It's completely fine. Because we're going to get a Tailwind off for this. And uh, he's going to go for the Intimidate. Not going to be doing a whole lot. Let's see if he actually goes for the Detect. Pheromos is faster than Gartana, so that's going to go first. Does he have it? Yep, cool. It's perfect. All right, now the real question is, does he have e-speed? Does he have extreme speed? I don't really think it matters all too much. So we both blew our protects. Pretty much I just used mine to safely wait out his. And, uh, yeah, we should be all right. I'm just going to high jump kick the Kartana. I'm also going to bug buzz the Kartana. 
actually. Oh, the DC, the rage quit. I was like, wait, I can just sleep powder everything, which is what I was gonna do. So that's pretty good. How so did I miss the full game? You missed the game where I went for the sleep powder, or the terrain sleep powder play, and I fucking bodied that guy. Nice. Yeah. Um. So he went double Tapu, Coco and Feeny versus the the Lele Butterfree, and I got him with it. All right. Um. Should we try the same thing we did last time, but just not suck? Like the Butterfree Salazzle. Yeah. The only problem with Butterfree Salazzle is the Garchomp, I think. Okay, Butterfree Salazzle. And then I'm pretty sure we brought Mosa. Oh, is this Zhang's team? His new uh, Blim? This isn't, oh, is it? Is, this it's isn't a QR he, team. Yeah, it's a QR team, but is this the one? This isn't the team that he brought to uh, Portland, is it? Because I, I two owed that team. I was the only person that beat it in the whole tournament. <clears throat> Let me get my notes out. <laughs> All right. It's Oregon. Yeah, so I am the only person that's ever two owed this team in bracket. Ever. I'm about to free Salazzle. What are other mods? I like Mosa. And I know that that's... Actually, I don't know if that's Scarf Chomp. I don't know a lot about his team. You'd be surprised what I don't know about his team. Because, <laughs> like, literally, I've, I I gave him the D. Like, we played uh, it was back to back. Just bop, bop. Like, three turn games both times. It's not even a humble brag. It's like the straight up just BM brag from hell. <laughs> I'm legit about to get my notebook out, because, like, I took good notes on the game, but I just don't remember. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm pretty sure his team didn't have a weather move on the blim, but I didn't have protect either. I'm pretty sure he had haze as the last move on his drift blim, he just never used it. But I don't, I don't remember, like, I really don't. Yeah, so all we gotta do is we sludge wave the, the sludge bomb the lele, and we just sleep out of the blim. And I wonder if I should actually be... Now oh, he's protecting cool, that's good. What an unexpected lead. <laughs> All right. his dri oh, it's Destiny Bond. It's Destiny. He didn't do it against me, but it's totally Destiny Bond. Alright, and we're actually fine. This doesn't look like we're fine, but we're, we're totally, totally fine. Because now we're just going to Rage Powder and Z-Move his Lele. Or we could switch out... And Tailwind trade. Oh, dude, watch this. This is going to be so sick. I'm going to switch into Torpedo to block a Psychic and Tailwind back at him. Nice. Dude, that's going to be sick. Alright. Oh, shoot. Switch into Arcanine. Oh, Garchomp, that's, we take those too. He's doing this to block the Sludge Bomb or a Z-Move or something, and I'm, I, didn't, I didn't take the bait. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We're playing the game. Yeah. I don't remember if his, his Garchomp... Gar, Zang didn't bring Garchomp to me twice. He didn't bring it both games. I think I'm just going to... Did I get a speed boost? It did not give me my speed boost. It didn't. That sucks. I'm just going to protect for a turn then. And I'm just going to sleep powder the Garchomp. And then next turn, if I have to, I can... Uh, I can attack it with a uh, Sharpedo. I think this time we're we're gonna we're gonna make it for our past mistakes and go for the destiny bond, right? Later. I think so. Yeah, maybe. Let's see if he actually will wisp us like he's supposed to. Wake up. He goes for the will wisp. Let me block it. Okay. So far, so good. Do you think my Z move one shots a Garchomp? No. Really? Uh, actually, you're right. Let's think about it. Waterfall wouldn't do... Well, it's stronger than Waterfall. This is stronger than Waterfall, and Waterfall would do like 40%. It's twice as strong. Go for it. Well, I'm going to Rage Powder, so like, you <clears> can't <throat> will okay. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like, I'm thinking if I want to do that, though. I could also just taunt the damn Drift Blim. This is true. And then Sleep Powder there. 
I'll do That's that. That's probably a better plan. Am I faster? Oh shit, I don't know if I'm faster. This is a, mis this is a misplay. Oh god, that's a misplay. Oh god, I'm so lucky. Oh, I'm the luckiest person oh, in the world. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot that I didn't get the speed boost off right. of uh, the turn I switched it in. Earthquake actually just KO'd Sharpedo like 90% of the time anyways. So, uh, he wanted to fuck my Sharpedo up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. Oh well. That yeah. kind of sucks. A lot. A lot, a yep. lot, a lot. But it's not the end of the world. Oh, what the fuck? What? I just missed the sleep powder. That's not a thing. Your compound, uh, I guess it's not 100%. It's like, yeah, it's like 99 point whatever. Fuck my life. Damn. It makes up for the fact that he should have will whisked me. Yeah. Dang. It's alright. It's like more than 99%. I mean, it's something like that. Yeah. Alright, so we're just going to try and sleep out of the drift room again. It worked against the last guy, and we're ice beaming that Garchomp slot. He's probably switching it into Arcanine. It's not the end of the world. We're going into Sleep Powder City here. That's what we're trying to play. You missed a player with an Axie boost before? That's pretty mm -hmm. much what this is. Yeah. I think I might... I'm thinking about protecting with Mosa and Sleep Powdering as Arcanine. Yeah. Actually, I could switch out my Mosa for uh, the Lazzle. And Tailwind again. Because Salazzle can just buffer an Arcanine attack, and Butterfree would just get what it wants from a... Yeah, that's fine. I think I need the Tailwind. I think it's actually really important. Because yeah. it makes it so he can't just go for the random wake-up Tailwinds, you know? Yeah. Because my taunt's going to wear off soon. Yep, there's the wake-up. There it is. You know, you fucking, you found it. He's hitting my Butterfree. Yeah. He's going to clock my Sash almost. Crit. That's unfortunate. It's probably nuking my butterfree this turn. Oh, we're faster than his Arcanine. Did not know that was a thing. Okay. He's four bullets. He's probably four bullets in the butterfree though. Let's be real. Um. Oh, he's sitting. There. All right, cool. Everything went oh. according to plan. I don't know if that Arcanine has E speed. Cause there's a Lele in that team. Yeah. Probably not. His other Pokemon are Lele and, and what? Lele and, and Garchomp, which means I can just go for the, the Acid Downpour right now. I think I actually have to. And if he has the uh, E-Speed, I think we just lose. This is his last turn taunted. But missing that Sleep Powder probably lost me this game. Yeah. Is he coming in with Garchomp again? Oh, wow. So he doesn't have E-Speed. That's one good thing to know. So we're blowing our Z-move here. It's alright. Next turn we're just going to Sleep Powder that guy, I think. The problem I, I have with this is I can't get in on that Drift Blim with like yeah. any of my Mons. That's it's like the problem. problem you had last time against the Lele yeah. Blim game. Maybe I should just it might be something Garchomp. to think about. Yeah. Checking in something. Well, I've also gotten really unlucky with like Sleep Rolls and a couple other things. Yeah. Sleep Powder misses. But I mean, that might not be something that you can rely on for this matchup. Well, I think I'm fine. Just gotta have more practice in it, that's all. Yeah. <clears throat> this is... I have two turns left to Tailwind. I think I'm just gonna start... hitting the Drift Blim right now. Yeah. Get some damage in on that. Yeah, even any anything's better than nothing. Yeah. Flamethrower on the Drift Plum. His Garchomp's attacking, so as long as we don't miss a second Sleep Powder. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. There you uh, go. I have PTSD already. <clears throat> I really thought his Garchomp was going to protect. Okay, phew, fell asleep. Alright, uh, I'm thinking about doing some switches. On your last turn of Tailwind? 
maybe. I'll just attack the Drifloom again. He's not going to switch out the Dwewe. I think I'm just going to Bug Buzz the Garchomp to put him within range for a Dazzling Gleam kill. Yeah. That's I kind of want to go over Rage Powder. That's what I want to do. But uh, there's like no point, you know? Crit! Well, that, I needed just it. You anticipating I needed that. It. Uh, yeah, you needed that. Can we crit that's the Garchomp? That's you anticipating the wake up. Hmm? Can I crit the Garchomp too? Yeah, that would have been lit. Oh god, two turns sleep. I did it, boys. Nice. Finally. Two turns sleeps. Those don't even exist. That's just, that's just a turn that you earned from previously when you missed. Yeah, you know what it is. <laughs> All right. Okay, Arcanine's coming in. He's got to play this right for the rest of the game. Yeah. Now, last time, I don't think I had a Tailwind, and my Butterfree was still faster than his Arcanine. I believe so. I just want to check something. He has Leo in the back, so the correct play... I think I can kill that Garchomp with a Sludge Bomb. Yeah, I think so, too. That's what I was going to suggest. He does have the E-Speed. Okay. He, he had a shot to use it earlier, and he didn't, remember? Yeah, I remember. I still think we're okay. Like, yeah, no, that's, that's still fine. Because we have a Lele. Yeah. It's like nice E-Speed, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, we don't have Lele. We have a Mosa. Oh, right, 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 right. I am half okay with that. <sighs> okay. I okay. forgot you had Trapita Mosa. Yeah, alright. Um. Well, he just put up the terrain. Yeah. Slazzle doesn't KO Lele. Does Mosa? Yeah, potentially. I think I'm actually going to Encore that Arcanine into, into E-Speed. I'm not going to do that. That's such a shitty play. Poison I'm the on, faster on, Pokemon. Yeah, but you don't have the potential, right? I mean... I don't have enough time to think about this. Okay, go for I'm it. Just, I just locked in my moves. Arcanine E-Speed, block, come on, don't suck. He might be banded, but I don't, Zangs wasn't banded. Yeah. I don't know why the hell we thought he was. That was the play. Whatever, we win. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, the uh, doing encore. The encore makes it. He actually still gets to hit with the E speed. It's Barry. What the hell? He wouldn't get to hit with the E speed. Yeah, it does. It's because it makes it not priority anymore. Oh. Um, yeah. That's, that's why it's the Nicole strat. Okay. Like, yeah. So what you want to do is you want to protect and Encore, and then that way he can't hit you with it the first turn, and then he can't ever do anything else ever again, which is why yeah. you do it. Yeah, that's that's the way it works. I didn't think it negated the priority. Yeah. It's only the first turn that... Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. pretty much quashing but, his I mean, extreme that's, speed. That's still... I mean, he's got extreme speed potential on you. Yeah. <sighs> we won because he misplayed! Yeah. But he's too greedy. Like he was, matchup. he uh, he lost sight of like he was like this is the I need to KO it.